Hello guys, welcome to my channel Create Knowledge. In this video, I will tell you how to install XAM in your system and also I will tell you how to set up control panel of XAM and how to create a database in XAM. Now first I am going to install XAM in my system. Now I am going to open Google Chrome browser. Now I have opened my favorite Chrome browser google.com and here I will write download XAMPP and this is the Apache friends download XAMPP click here now see XAMPP is 8.0.28 8.1.17 8.2.4 8.2.4 is the latest version so I have to download now I am interested to download 8.2.4 and this is for 64 bit this is for Windows platform this is for Linux platform so OX platform so now I will go for window for window platform and I am going to install install PHP 8.2.4 so click the download 64 bit now see downloading downloaded exam windows 64 so please wait it is going to download in your system download folder it is downloading your download folder the file size is 149 mb please wait for a few minutes now download is almost complete now download has been completed now i am going to close this window and go to my download folder here you see XAM Windows 64 bit 8.2.4 version now I am going to now I am going to right click here and run as administrator Now it is installing. Then minimize this window. I am going to minimize this window. Now I am getting a, some uh, warning. No problem. I am proceed. Okay. Now I am going to close this window. And then next. And then next you see Apache MySQL file Gila FTP. So Tomcat, so I am just click on next. Now see, it is downloading in my C drive, XAMPP folder, and okay, I am not going to change the location. Let it to in default location. Then next, our language is English. Next, setup now ready to being installing. XAMPP your computer next now welcome to XAMPP Apache distribution co containing MySQL PHP and Perl now it is installing in my system now it is going to install in my system Now see, installation is complete. Now see, completing XAM setup wizard. Setup has finished XAM on your computer. Do you want to start control plane now? Yes, you tick here and then finish. So now this is my control panel of XAM. So here I am going to set up one by one. First, I am going to set up Apache start. Click on start. Now you see color has been changed. Now I have configured Apache and next I am going for MySQL start.
Here my secret port number 3306. Now I want to tell one thing. You can change this port number. I will tell you later. Now, now it is 3306. That's okay. If, and I will also tell you how to change the port number later on. Now, FileZilla start. Okay, it is finished. Mercury start. It is finished. And Tomcat start. Now see, so in my control in my control panel, I have configured Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, and Tomcat. So now I am going to close this window. Now you go to your start menu. This is your start menu, and here Zam control panel. Drag it to your desktop for creating a shortcut key. Now I am going to open my C drive where XAMPP was installed. XAMPP. Here you got a htdoc folder. Inside the htdoc folder you have to create a folder. Now I am going to demo how to use XAMPP. Now I am going to create a folder. I am giving the name of folder is tute php and close it. Now I am going to open my Visual Studio Code. This is my Visual Studio Code. Now open folder. You go to C drive, XAMPP, htdoc, and here tut php. Select this folder. This is PHP. Now I am going to create a PHP index.php file. Index.php. Okay. Now here I am going to write a message. PHP and close bracket. Here I am going to write echo here write welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel and semicolon and save it. Save. Now I am going to minimize this window. I am going to open my Google Chrome browser. Here I will write localhost slash tute php slash index dot php and enter because here localhost is server my folder name is tute php and index.gsp php is my php file and enter you see i am getting error this site cannot be reached because i have not opened apache so i have to open the control panel and click start apache
and I am also going to MySQL because I want to make a demo for MySQL also. So I am going to start MySQL. Okay, then minimize it. And again, I am going to my server. I am just going to refresh it localhost. And you see, I am getting the output. Welcome to my channel. Here I have written, welcome to my channel. Now I am going to tell you one thing. If, because sometimes you get the error, because your uh, default username is root and you have to set the password of Apache. For this, you have to do one thing. You have to open this XAM control panel and click on cell. Click on cell and here you have to write here you have to write MySQL admin dash u root password. You have to write this one here. You have to write here. You have to write this one. You have to write MySQL admin u root password. If you write here, then it will ask the password. Then you have to change the password. Here my password is admin. You can put the password as per your choice. Because I am not going to write it because, because I have already set my password. So it will not accept it. So for you, I am telling you, you have to, you can change your password. And one more thing, I am telling you, XAM, PHP my admin, please remember it, PHP my admin, and here you get config dot inc. You right click here, open with notepad. Don't double click here. Open with notepad. Now here you see the authentication type of info. Here user name is root, password it was blank. Now I put the my password admin. That's it you have to do for run the MySQL. Now I make a command line here and now I am going to open MySQL database. So I have to write here localhost, localhost slash php, php my admin and enter. This is my PHP my admin. Here you write, here I have to create a database. Click on database and create. Now I am going to give the database name is, name the database. I am giving the name database 1. Database 1 and create. Now you see database 1 is created. Now I am going to uh, minimize this window. Now going to my Visual Studio code. Here I am going to write some code. Server name, localhost, username root, password admin and and here write connection con is equal to mysql my i server name username password if connection is error then i'll get i'll get the message connection failed and if it is okay it then i'll write then i'll get the message that echo successfully connected with my SQL database. Now here I am going to 
and I will write here another message that please subscribe my channel. Okay. In like JDBC in Java, we, when you use the JDBC program, always you write connection dot close. So here I have also write connect con close because you have to close the connection. Okay. Now I am going to save it. Save. Now I am going to open my browser. local host slash tut php slash index dot php and then enter and you see I have successfully connected with my SQL database. Please subscribe my channel. Here I have written it. Here I have successfully connected with my database and I have get the I am passed the some message here also. Now I think you have understand how to use XAM PHP with Visual Studio Code and how to connect with MySQL database and how to write a demo welcome to my channel or I think in this video you have understand and how to set password in Apache as well as in MySQL database. If you like this video please do subscribe my channel and share it with your friend. This is the basic knowledge I have given you. Now in next video I will tell you how to create a login file by using this PHP and MySQL database. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Thanks a lot.